Now look at this. This is video from an evacuation center in Chico. This is about nine miles from the campfire near Paradise, California. This video was captured by our own Team 12's Monica Garcia just yesterday. The camp slowly filling up as many families were still evacuating their homes. And Monica is still in California right now. She spoke with a Valley woman who says she didn't know what she signed up for. Here in Chico, California, 80 miles north of Sacramento. It's the morning time where you can see the smoke the most. Just take a look at that. These are smoke clouds as the sun starts coming up to give you an idea of what people in this town and this evacuation shelter are witnessing. Uh, back there is paradise about 20 miles away where that fire is still burning. I'm at one of the many evacuation shelters and just to give you an idea, a lot of them are at capacity. This one is still taking people as well as their pets. Some folks have decided to sleep outside in tents. Uh, it's 30 degrees out here, folks, so can't be pleasant. But if, obviously, if you want your own privacy, that's what you're going to have to do. I'm going to take you inside. Incredibly, uh, being here this morning, I spoke to someone who was on vacation near Paradise and uh, is obviously going through all of this. She's from Arizona. Yeah, randomly from Arizona. She's from Peoria. Her name is Kathy, and she came down here to visit her boyfriend. We're going to talk to her in just a second. She has an incredible story of how she was able to escape, but these are pretty much where a lot of the evacuation shelters are being housed. Uh, many local churches here in Chico, California have opened their doors. I would say there are about several. Each one of them say they have about 200 people from Paradise, which is currently on fire right now now just 20% contained uh, and they have the folks here uh, and obviously these evacuees some folks just not getting enough sleep and hanging around here in the lobby we're going to go inside and talk to Catherine from Peoria <sighs> Catherine how you doing this morning I'm doing okay okay let me just sit here with you okay so we thought it was pretty incredible we're from Arizona up here helping and you said well I'm from Arizona you yes. said Peoria tell me your story what happened I came up here for a vacation to visit my boyfriend and I've only been up here two, three weeks, and then we have to be evacuated because of the fire. Did you even know it was a fire danger? No. Okay, talk to me about your, your story of just escaping, getting out of there. When we left at 11 o'clock Thursday evening, we went through the middle of the forest, and as we're going, we have fire on the right, fire on the left. We hit Highway 32 to come into Chico, and we're going through ash falling on our vehicles. We got fire on the right, fire on the left as we're going down Highway 32. What was going on in your mind at that time? It has to be really scary. I'm like, I, I'm praying to God that we make it through, that the fire doesn't jump the road. And that was my only concern is that the fire was going to jump the road, and we were on the road. And I had someone following behind me that was coming out with us. I had my boyfriend and his sister up in the front. I had his niece in the van with me and then a neighbor lady behind me. Did you ever imagine when you left Arizona you were going to be experiencing this? Not in a thousand years. Nothing like this. I was enjoying the nice view up there and, and everything, but nothing like this. Cooler temperatures and now you were dealing with fire. Yes. Kathy, thank you so much for talking to us. So uh, Kathy, among I'd say more than uh, 180 people are sleeping here. This is a gymnasium. Uh, we're not going inside there because a lot of people are still sleeping uh, here at this church. But yeah, that's the situation out here. A lot of volunteers, and that's the message. Even Kathy told me the message to the volunteers is obviously thank you because they've been here for the past three days, and it's just been incredible, their resilience. In Chico, I'm Monica Garcia, 12 News.